Happy Halloween, friends. Let's get spooky <laughs> up in here. We're gonna have a Halloween party in The Sims. Hey everybody, I'm Kelsey, I'm single, so we thought it would be funny if I tried the 100 baby challenge. It's a challenge in The Sims 4 where we have one matriarch and they're supposed to have 100 children, all with different parents. There's a lot of rules to this challenge. If you're interested in those, the link will be below. I love Halloween, I'm a big Halloween girl, and lucky for us, there was a spooky pack in The Sims where you can like throw Halloween parties and stuff, so I thought it'd be really fun to throw a big Halloween extravaganza. There's also gonna be, hopefully, no debts, but there might be ghosts, the ghosts of our loved ones. Oh my gosh, I'm just going to open my file and look, it's Casey and then all of the children are under five foot. I hate this. Throwing a party when everyone's a kid is not gonna be fun. Game plan, make sure everybody's happy-ish so they won't die. I'm like almost nervous to do this. I just feel like there's a curse on our house. But you know what, we have a new house, so maybe there won't be a curse. Maybe we broke the curse. <gasps> what a Halloween movie vibe. All right, so Casey just had two new babies and she can't have any more babies because she is a full household and Logan just became a B student. It's gonna take a little bit for us to like get there, which means that Casey is going to become a full adult during this episode. That means that she has essentially hit halfway through her section of the challenge. I can't believe it. No, my baby. It's fine, we're fine, it's fine. I'm gonna have her maybe like cook some garden salads. You know, it's never hurts to have a couple of garden salads in the fridge, just in case. Okay, this boy needs to do, he's feeling great, so he needs to do his homework. I'll have him start working carefully on his school project, and then he also needs to like be more motor skill-y, so maybe he'll play on the playground after that. So actually, everybody's mood is pretty decent, but I feel like it's a trap. Maybe I could age up a Todd before half the party. Why don't you play to get your imagination up? You need to work on thinking, so we'll have you get on some shape. Chelsea Jr. can literally do anything because Chelsea Jr. needs to learn everything? Question mark? We'll have you start on thinking. All right, another day in the new Impeachishme household. All my babies are running around doing their best, even though they're sad about the loss of a loved one. As usual, the Impeachishme household is in mourning. I feel like we're gonna be in mourning until the end of days, unless I turn aging off or the Sims I'm not playing. I haven't decided what is best. Our girl is finishing up her salad. We could call over Remus Lupin to get to know him, but I almost feel like we should just invite him to the party and then seduce him at the party because we're not in a rush. The only person's in a rush is Logan. Logan, you need to get it together, bro. All my babies are learning stuff. Oh, Annie's hungry. Annie, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? I'm gonna do that forever. Where's my other baby? Where's Ashton? Ah! The Halloween episode started early. Holy nuggets. Ashton and Annie are a two-headed baby. <laughs> Things I, oh God, it keeps writhing. One's happy and one's sleeping. I hate it. Why didn't you just spawn into this other one? Oh, I see. Oh, there's like not another room. Maybe we should just like take the bed out. There you go. Who is that? Haley, what are you doing, Haley? Why don't you do more potty? Oh my gosh, there's too much going on here. Why are all my children crying? I'll just have these two work on the potty skill right now. It's Monday night, so maybe Tuesday night we'll have our Halloween party. Reach creativity level. Good job, buddy. He's doing really good. I think he's gonna be a really good student. Oh my gosh, everyone's reaching levels. New levels of awesome. No, 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 no. Don't you make a mess. Don't you make a mess. <gasps> No! You tell her. We don't make messes in this house, young Chelsea. Let's teach to talk. Flashcards, teach basic needs, just do it all. These two are just potting up storm and a lot of the potting went on the floor. Potty is really close for both of them. Haley's getting really close. Get in there, Haley. Yeah, Haley, let's go. Here you go, go eat a garden salad, Haley. You deserve it. Olivia just reached potty level three too. Good job, Olivia. What do you need? You need food a little bit too? Why don't you get a garden salad as well? And after that, you need thinking. How's this 
kid doing out here. Still good, just very sad, but overall still working on that thinking. Olivia, you need to work on communication. Babble to this bear. Look at her little concerned face, she's so concerned. Oh no, is that Chelsea Jr? Chelsea Jr sad. Don't worry Chelsea Jr, I got you. Just grab a serving of garden salad. Everything will be okay after a garden salad. Logan finished his project quickly, good job, and he got extra credit. We're gonna have you play on the monkey bears. So you're all ready to go to school and be an A student like we want you to. I think you are communication level three. Great, so all you need is imagination. You gotta be an imaginative gal. Olivia, Olivia, good job, baby. All right, Olivia only has thinking and movement left. Both blocks are good for thinking and movement, so I'm just gonna get more blocks. Ooh, he's having fun, working on his skill. Ooh, Holly reached level three of thinking. Good job, Holly. You're level three of thinking. Now you just need imagination. Oh no, baby's upset. Annie, Annie, are you okay? All right, why don't you potty train Chelsea Jr. because Chelsea Jr. needs it. Ooh, yay, Haley reached movement level three. Good job. Chelsea Jr. acquired the potty skill. Holly's level three of imagination. Oh my gosh, we're just rolling in it. Who's the master? Me. He's almost there. Yeah, there you go. Now you're done. Got a lot of kids needing salads. Chelsea Jr. is taking a long time to learn how to potty. You're going to sleep. They're all asleep. They're all asleep. Okay, goals. Get some of the kids aged up. Have a party. The end. Logan starts school in about half an hour. I am so sorry, Logan. Bye, baby. Have so much fun. Wait, is he wearing a kilt? He's just wearing jean shorts with like a plaid shirt on the bottom. He's looking fly. He's a little sad, but hopefully he'll be cheered up. He's very responsible. We're proud of you, sweetie. And Casey's gonna have a garden salad. And who's awake? Haley. Thank you. Okay, we went to bed. Ooh, what's up, Chuck? Logan got sick and threw up in the hallway of a in front of a bunch of students. He's with the nurse down. Yeah, do it. Do a thorough health check, honestly. You should you should make sure you're okay. That's probably pretty concerning if you're just vomiting in the hallway. Tegan wants to go to GeekCon. I mean, anything for my kids. Yeah, let's all go to GeekCon. Gosh, Taylor looks so old. Romeo, bring Caesar. We miss Lupin so we can flirt it up. Ever can come. Dustin, of course, and Taylor. The whole Impeachishme adult family is gonna go to GeekCon and she's gonna seduce a man. We we're at GeekCon, yay! Hug everybody lovingly. Oh, there's a guy in cosplay, love that for us. Remus Lupin's already like bouncing. Also, Remus Lupin is wearing a wolf t-shirt with a full moon on it, so funny. Okay, she's chatting with all of her relatives. Oh! It's Casey's birthday by throwing a birthday party. Oh my God, we totally will. We're gonna throw her a spooky birthday party. It's gonna be amazing. Where are you going, Casey? Aw, she's giving him a hug. Build the rocket together with our group. Oh my gosh, the whole squad is coming in to help build a rocket ship at GeekCon. Honestly, that sounds really fun. Look at Ever, she is crushing it. Yes, queen. She's like, I'm used to hard labor because I am now a queen of thievery. And then uh, over here, Caesar's like, I'd rather not. <laughs> Looks like uh, Remus Lupin's feeling a little awkward. I think he's a little shy. Stop working on your rocket. You've done enough. Go talk with Remus Lupin. I want her to flirt with Remus Lupin. Please just flirt. Inside joke. Oh, she's super tired. No, I just want one flirt. Just one, just one flirt with Remus. There it is. Oh, and stuck the landing. That's my girl. Compliment his outfit and then maybe do another little flirt. They got a little bit of heart. I'm happy. We're gonna end this early. I still think she was successful. We're back. We got bills. Can you pay my bills? Can you? It's about the same amount of bills as we had at the last house, which is really nice. How's Logan? Has he gone to school? He's a B student. He has not done his homework though. All my little Todds are actually doing pretty well. Who is close to aging up? Okay, Olivia. You need movement and thinking. Okay. You just need thinking. Oh yeah, we're gonna get there. We're gonna age up a baby. Annie is not okay. Oh my gosh, it's Dustin! Oh my God, go invite Dustin in. Dustin came to visit. It's like, she had like a mom send. She's like, <gasps> I'm awake, my son is here. Did he finish his homework? Yeah, buddy, that's my boy. Olivia's getting close. You can keep going potty, Holly. Haley's getting close and Chelsea Jr. just woke up. Keep babbling to this bear. Oh my gosh, it's almost Annie and Ashton's birthdays. No, I cannot have that many Todds. We must age up these Todds before our spooky party. I can't live through Todd Mageddon again. Chelsea Jr. reached communication level three. 
Now we need thinking, movement, imagination. Be imaginative. Haley's closing in on the money. We might get almost all of them, besides Chelsea Jr., aged up around the same time, which would be wild. Olivia, my sweet angel, my everything. She also, like, is really smart, considering that she was born way after the other two tots and just, like, surpassed them. You just need thinking now. Just do thinking. Oh my gosh. Is that it? You finished movement because you had to walk to your food. That's amazing. Our first baby of the Todds to age up is gonna be Olivia. Ooh, Holly reached level three. Yes, Holly, I know you're sad, but it's okay because you just need movement now and then you're gonna be done. <gasps> Olivia just reached level three of thinking. Let's go. It's birthday time for Olivia. Olivia finished up before her two older siblings. Age these Todds up, baby. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Olivia aging up. Olivia is erratic? What? She takes after her aunt, Olive, who is mean. Pick a number one through four. Four. So she's social, a social butterfly who's a little erratic, you know? That's fine. Oh! Olivia looks like a mini Casey. <gasps> That's so cute. I love that for us. Oh, Haley's done. Everyone's crying, but it's fine. Annie will survive for a couple minutes more while we uh, age up. Oh, nope, Ashton is also frustrated, but it's okay, it's birthday time. Happy burger birthday, yay! One less, Todd, let's go. Haley, aged up, pick a number one through four. Two, so Haley's more of a mental kid and is a loner. Okay, we got like a theme. It's fine. Look at Haley. She's so sad. Oh yeah, we gotta fix our, our children. Just keep stacking, Holly. You're crushing this. Holly's really tired. I feel like we're close though. I feel like we're so close and then we just have Chelsea Jr. There you go. Babies are both good. Is someone messing with my sinks? It's my boy, my Harry. Harry, why are you so sad? Why are you wet? Oh my God, is he always dripping because he drowned? Is that a thing? I can't wait for our spooky party tomorrow now that we have a bunch of kids. We're gonna get to pick all the kids his outfit and we get to pick Chelsea Jr.'s little Halloween outfit. It's gonna be so cute. It's gonna be so cute as long as you just age up. Yes! Holly! We're done! Holly's gonna be like pretty miserable, but it's kind of okay. Oh, Harry's at the piano! <laughs> and he's taking selfies in his suit like he always does. Happy birthday, Holly! Oh, my Todd's aged up at once. Pick a number one through four. One. one. So Holly's creative and a glutton. Okay. Well, you know, we all have our flaws. It's fine. There you go. Put that back away. And Casey clearly needs to buy some medicine for her. Uh, whatever's going on there. She's got some kind of skin thing. So we're gonna give her some medicine so that she can uh, feel better soon. Oh my God! It's so cute that he's hugging. Now she feels amazing. She's like the only Todd left. A little Chelsea Jr. It's okay, you'll have two new Todd friends really soon, unfortunately for us. Already on the computer, being a little nerdo, just like her mom. Aw, who's in bed with Casey? It's Holly. She's thinking about spiders. Ooh, perfect, it's Halloween season. Season. Speaking of which, let's do a Halloween house makeover. We're gonna decorate the house for Halloween. So let's go to show all for spooky stuff. Cute. Okay, so maybe in the front, we're gonna have like little pumpkins. I'm thinking we'll place this in the inventory for now and have some pumpkins here. Maybe we'll do like a little candy on the table. Ooh, like a little spider web over the TV. How freaking cute. Obviously a pumpkin carving station. We'll have this over here. Spooky spider, a little spooky spider next to the spider web. Cute. I love that there's like a little spooky teddy bear for baby, baby Chelsea. Yeah, that's pretty cute. Okay, I think that's like, Pretty good. Can we have like a little stereo? All right, we're all ready for our spooky party. Now I want her to plan her outfits because it's time for a Halloween makeover. I can't wait to pick out all other Halloween costumes. So we'll start with Casey. All right, here we go. She could be like Leia, that's pretty cute. Or like a fairy's classic. Pirate witch is very cute on her. Ooh. Ooh, this is fun. This reminds me of Astrid from How to Train Your Dragon. She could be Yeti. Mrs. Claus, never. I kind of like her being a superhero, kind of like Mrs. Incredible. That's kind of cute for her. What would Casey like? She would probably go for something blue or purple. She likes blue and purple. She's like super athletic too. So I could totally see her being like, I want to be a superhero. Is there like a mask or something? Yeah, this is it. Yeah, this is her superhero. Okay, that's her 
Halloween costume. Olivia. I think that being a little bit erratic, I could totally see her just like rolling up in like a ridiculous bear costume. So I think our Olivia might go as like an avocado bear. Yeah, avocado bear is definitely Olivia for Halloween. Okay, Logan we're gonna do later. Baby Chelsea. Oh my God, I'm so excited for baby Chelsea's look. Aw, there's only like two. Ah, oh, they're Christmassy, they're so cute. No, no spooky stuff at the little kiddos. I could dress her up like Chelsea for Halloween. She'll dress up like Chelsea. That's kind of cute. Like Chelsea Senior. She's dressed up like Chelsea Senior for Halloween. Is it weird? Yeah, but is it kind of cute? Yeah. Holly and Peter Schmay. Holly is, I feel like she's like a foodie girl. I feel like I could see Holly wanting to be a pirate. I think that'd be really cute for her. Wait, that's her normal outfit? She's like Wednesday Adams. Wait, I have a whole other vibe for this girl. She, if she's like a spooky gal, oh, I'm going in on Wednesday Adams vibes. She's just gonna go as a skeleton. She won't be wearing glasses, but I think she will wear braids. Yes, and then for her face makeup, she's gonna wear like a skeleton face. Yes, I love this. Haley, our little Instagram diva, is probably gonna go as like a princess because it's Haley and we love her. A little yellow princess? Oh, I could totally see Haley being like obsessed with the color yellow and like only wearing it. And then you need like little perfect yellow shoes to match. Yes. And her hair, I feel like she could get away with like this cute, oh yeah, that's our Haley. Haley's super pumped. Do you see her face? She's like, yay, I'm a princess. So Haley and Holly, oh my God, I love. And then Chelsea Jr. looks like Chelsea. Logan will figure out his costume when he gets home. Olivia's a freaking avocado bear. And Casey's of course a superhero. 10 out of 10, love this for us. Oh my God, they're all hanging out and doing their homework and eating together. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, you're doing amazing. You're already done, but Haley needs a skill, which you're already doing. You haven't started your homework, but you will soon. And then she's gonna practice on violin. Oh, she going. Oh, and she's already done. Look at her, complete with the skill. You have like nothing better to do though, so you might as well just keep going. I kind of want to give Holly a full makeover and just make her like a spooky gal all the time. I love that Holly is our spooky gal and she's named after like a Christmas holiday. Nightmare for a Christmas. You know, it's truly scary. This is truly terrifying. I'm gonna be really upset when they leave. I'm very attached to my girls. Casey aged up. Oh my gosh, Casey aged up without us getting to give her a birthday party. I'm so sorry, Casey. Everybody gave a gift. Happy birthday, Casey. You're a grown woman. Yes, queen, let's go. She's exhausted. Is that what happens when you become a full adult? I wouldn't know. Oh, she's dancing to the spooky music. Yes, Haley. Yes, Haley reached motor skill level two. Good job, Haley. Oh, Holly's good too. All my girls are ready to go for school tomorrow. <gasps> Grades are up. Logan is an A student and Logan, you can age yourself up. He just needs a little bit of food and some fun and hygiene and he's ready to go. Okay, pick a number one through 12. 12. 12, so popularity. Pick a number one through six. That would be six. Six, so he wants to be a joke star. <gasps> Our Logan wants to be a comedian. Ooh, and he's a child of the islands. He wants to move to the beach and be a comedian. That is adorable. Oh my God, look at, <gasps> he's like one of the Weasley brothers. He's got that ponytail. Yes, King. Chelsea Jr., stop it right now. You can work on some blocks, work on some thinking. All right, then work on some thinking with the iPad. Okay, oh my gosh, my buddy. Okay, so what is our boy? So he's a jokester. I mean, he could go as like a cute little clown, but clowns kind of creep me out. This is quite funny as well for him to just go as a hot dog. I mean, that's really great. What's funny for him to go as like ninja? Ninjas aren't funny, they're cool. I feel like he could go as one of the characters from like Blades of Glory and he'd find that pretty funny. So maybe we'll do that. All right, he's going as a character from Blades of Glory. I think it's great. Okay, so we're gonna plan a spooky party. The host is gonna be Casey and Peter Schmay and Logan. They can both host it together. Guess, obviously the rest of the family. P Caesar and Peter Schmay, Blair, Tegan, Ever, Brooke, Taylor. Taylor, are you okay? Archer, Bella, Brendan, Taylor, Hope, Jake, Leo Jr., Romeo, Dustin, and then we need Remus Lupin. Oh, shoot, who's uninvited? Taylor, you look weird. I'm inviting Remus Lupin instead. And go. Okay, spooky party time, everybody. Oh no, everyone's gonna change into outfits I did not choose for them. That is not what I chose for you. Please change. There we go. Ooh, it looks like everybody's arriving. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, who is that? Ever, it's Ever. Oh my gosh, oh my God, look at how 
Holly. Holly's freaking crushing it. She's having the best day of her life. She's like, yeah, I will eat the, the candy. What just happened? Are you okay? She's just like, whatever. Casey's just being the queen of the hour, welcoming everyone. Wait, Tegan and Archer are matching for some reason. There's Remus Lupin. Remus Lupin is dressed as what looks like a post officer, which is interesting. <laughs> burning to death. Logan is burning to death. Get them inside. Wait, what? Logan, don't be outside. It's too hot outside. Get inside. Oh my God, I can't have another child die. Logan, get inside right now. Oh my gosh, Logan. Don't do that. Oh, Haley's making a pumpkin. She's carving. You gotta get on Remus Lupin. Get all over him. He's looking fine tonight. You gotta give him a little compliment. Stop talking to everybody else so you can just focus on Remus Lupin at the Halloween party. Be like, hey, I just happened to notice that you're the only man that I'm not related to here. Oh, tell an unbelievable story. Get a little bit more flirting going on. Haley and Archer are dancing together to the spooky music. Oh yeah, oh, look over here. It's Brendan just going ham. Oh my God, I love everybody dancing to the spooky music. This is so goofy. Oh, she's uncomfortable. Oh no, oh, sweetie, you can change. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, she's uncomfortable because she's hot in her outfit. So we should have you change, sweetie. You're just being cute. That's your Halloween costume. You look amazing. People are, oh, first kiss! It's fine, one of our children interrupted our romantic situation. It's fine, that's what children do sometimes, right? Not smart enough. I've been trying to do homework for school, but the last few assignments have felt really hard. You know, practice. Yeah, let's make out now. I wanna make out with this boy. No, I wanna make out with this boy. First kiss. It's perfect, it's Halloween, it's time for making out. Oh my God, did you just see Olivia's back here? She just like was complaining about her mom kissing in front of her. This is so funny. Oh my God, she's like, mom. Oh my God, they're all like being spooked by the candy. Logan, why don't you, I know you're, it's like a party, but maybe you should do your homework while you're just chilling. Oh my gosh, is this not the cutest and peachishme Halloween party that ever happened? And Casey made a child uncomfortable by making out with a man. That's about as in Puchishme family as it gets. Oh, I love this spooky bowl. It's like everybody is upset over it. Everybody's inside not dying, which is great. I love when they're all inside and they're not dying. A lot of them have passed out. Oh, even Casey's going to bed early from her own party, but that's okay. Oh, it looks like the party's over. Everyone's leaving. Bye, everybody. Oh, there's a baby crying. So proud of this family. We've grown so much. We just need Logan to age up. Is he close? He's a B student. So if we get him all the way up, we could maybe get him out of the house and get pregnant. Okay, what does he need? He needs to get a skill up to level three. He has no skills. He might not be a gamer, but like his whole, the whole family's gamers. Okay, so. And I think he should just play some online games with Harry, Dustin, and Romeo, his bros. Chelsea's gonna sit with him and play games. The only haunting we have tonight. Chelsea's haunting the candy bowl from Halloween. This is so cute. She's having her own Halloween fun. Apparently Chelsea did not want to really come to the party. I wish she would have. It would have been very festive. Maybe it'll go faster on the computer. Maybe if he plays PC games, he'll play faster. So come on, buddy. Or it might not. I mean, he's almost to level two already. Olivia reached creativity level two. Good job, Olivia. Wasn't working on you. It's not about you right now, Olivia. Okay, he reached level two on the gaming skill. We're so close, it's 6 a.m. Is he going to school today? Yeah, he's class in two hours. Oh no, someone's really hungry. Annie, Annie's not okay. No, you gotta go to school. I know you're tired. I really kept you up. I should have let you go. I'm sorry, buddy. So let's potty train Chelsea Jr. and we'll uh, clean up our Halloween decorations. That was a really good party, I'm really happy. Halloween's over now. Except for not, because like for us, it's just getting started, you know what I'm saying? Of course, Ashton starts crying when we start potty training, which always takes forever. Ashton will be there soon. Oh, fight. <gasps> a teacher had to break up a fight between Logan and another student in the hall today. Um, violence is unacceptable. Do not do that, my son. Oh, Remus Lupin's calling. <gasps> hey, Casey, it's me, Remus. Do you want to go on a date? Yeah. We totally got him. Casey and Remus Lupin. I don't know if Casey's really properly uh, been on a date yet. So this is pretty exciting. I kind of wish she could get pregnant on this date. But unfortunately, that is not in the cards right now because we are a full house. Let's woohoo in a bush. Great date. 10 out of 10, good date. You want to find a bush somewhere? He's like, oh ho ho. 
Yeah, buddy! Wait, you can't get to it? Oh no, why? Why can't you get to the woohoo bush? Yeah, woohoo with Remus. Can you not woohoo with Remus in that bush? Go find it. They're running. They're like, let's do it. Running through this maze. They know it like the back of their hands. They're like, they're like bloodhounds. They're like, I can figure this out blindfolded. Oh, sassy. Oh, okay. We'll give you some privacy. What's over here? It's a snail. That's a pretty snail thing. Look at that. And over here, the bush is like rocking. When the bush is a rocking, don't come and knock. They are loving this. I think that we should go home and care for our children. Aw, Chelsea Jr. went to the street to welcome all our siblings home. That's like pretty cute, actually. Why don't you go wander around? The Impeachment children are all back home. Nobody aged up. Casey had a woohoo. He's not pregnant again. But we did have a fantastic Halloween. So I'm gonna leave this one right here at 52 kids. It's been a lot and it's been amazing. I can't wait for the next 48 babies with you guys. Thank you guys so much for supporting and I'll see you guys before you know it. Bye!